para los apóstoles. <laughs> Thank you for helping my interpreter. <laughs> so they, they, they are the lower class who are supposed to be poor. And the other class who are the working class and the rich ones. And so she went to work with the lowest class. And Teresa had three dresses and they all looked alike. She had a bucket. And those were all her possessions in life. She served in that community for 45 years. But in that service, she generated an army of servants. As when I was preparing, I was reading and I, I read that there are 560 Mama Teresa missions today. In 1989, she won the Nobel Prize Award. In 1988, she was given the highest civilian award in India. India has, India has like 1 billion people. People you think we are many in Uganda. We are about 40 million. But sometimes when you walk on long street, we are just squeezing ourselves like this. Imagine what happens in India. 1 billion, 1 point something. A midst of all those people. Our Teresa was chosen the highest. Mama Teresa, the Lord of Nati, Kiva, is because of service. I cannot emphasize enough. That we need to have a sacrificial heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we live in times that require sacrifice. I've shared with you, Compassion International has told us that they are getting out of the city. We have 400 children. Are we going to throw them? We need to sacrifice. We need to support these children. So as a church, we decided to do some projects. projects During some time when I was not a member of this church, one of the members of the church, I am told she has called Mary, gave us a plot of land. That land had been vacant for some time. Last year we decided to develop that land. And I thought that is the work which is going on. We are building a shopping plaza. Do you have a picture of how it will look like? Oh my God! This is now. This one. Yes. This is. This is how it is going to work. The middle and the black one is the pastor's car. <laughs> uh, praise the Lord. So we have embarked on this work. And we are trusting God to provide. Doesn't it look nice? Yeah. Like I wish you could just go and plan the picture. <laughs> but it takes effort and it takes work. And it takes sacrifice. So these ones are the residential houses behind. And the one in front is the, the, the shopping plaza. So Praise the name of the Lord. Give the Lord an answer. While we are doing this work, a neighbor came and said, I want to give you this land. We are busy building. And some men of wisdom advised us and said, You first take the land. And so we are going to take the land. So that land there, next time when you come for the next home, Homecoming, we shall have a bigger compound. Yeah. Yeah. I tell people that the kingdom of God grows from one degree of glory. 
Ukula. If you live near a church, you will notice. We go to the in Afghanistan. Because the church is expanding. Oh, we are expanding. I don't know the grace of God. Sometimes I don't know where the money comes from. Somehow it comes. We are paying 95 million for that project. We need about 300 million for this project. We are living project here. And while I was still thinking about all this, my sister said me and said, I don't know how to read it for him. I don't know how to read it for him. Say praise God, Pastor. I have this and I wanted to share it. And right now I still feel it is the message is heavy in my heart. That we start the project of our new temple. Today. We contribute cash. To so the same Open it is account. To take your account as a start. Thereafter, we shall be contributing to each annually. Each member who has been part of this church will put a brick. I don't say no, this is not right. I mean, I've just talked of millions. Praise the Lord. And as the Lord leads us, we shall not limit Him. We serve a limitless God. As you will come on breath, we want to challenge you and there is work going on. When the Lord touches, you give a break. Because we are doing work for the kingdom. Whenever I go to prayer, I say, God, this is not an inheritance for the Jehovah's clan. This is an inheritance for the children, for the kingdom of God. When I am not here anymore, the word will continue to be preached. The ministry will continue to be supported. The missions will continue to be supported. Because your church is self-sustained. Bless the name of the Lord. He has been faithful. He will continue to be faithful. Bless his name very much. There is a cake here. Meaning that lunch is ready. <laughs> so I have to close my Bible now. But before I step down, I need to clarify something. I have listened to many sermons. And preachers say that, that the servant heart was before the coming of Jesus Christ. And now that they are sons, we are no longer servants. And they quote Galatians chapter 4. We shall read Galatians chapter 4. From verse 6 to 7. It is here. Because you are sons, God sent His Spirit. God sent the Spirit of His Son into, your, into our hearts. The Spirit who calls out, Abba Father. Next. So you are no longer a slave. Some versions say you are no longer a servant. But a son. Since you are a son, God has also made you a heir. And the God description says we are no longer servants. The name of service was for the, the Old Testament. Praise the Lord. The same writer in the book of Titus opened for us. Verse 1. Chapter 1, verse 1. What does he say? Titus 1 1. It says what? Paul. Paul. Okay, let us read. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Christ for the faith of God's elect and the knowledge of the truth that leads to godliness. The person who says we are now sons is calling himself a son. 
I want to, 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 to tell you, brethren, we are both servants and we are sons. We are servants rooted in our identity as sons. We are sons who have the heart of a servant. Blessed is the name of the Lord. As we go to the homecoming celebrations, the true homecoming is not now. Open for us Revelation chapter 21. We see the true homecoming. Revelation chapter 21. And we shall read the children of God. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And there was no longer in the sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. Prepared as a bride, beautiful and dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will live with them and be their God. Continue. Every tear from their eyes. There will be no more day or morning, or crying or pain, for the older order of things has passed away. As five, he who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Verse six, 